Hello girls, today we're going to talk about personality. Hello Anna. Hello. And hello Claudia. Hello Leti, thanks for inviting me again. <laughs> oh, pleasure both of you to see you again. So now we're going to start to do the most difficult part is talking about adjectives. So what I would like us to do is um, maybe read the adjective and then uh, give us like a definition of what it is if we can, or maybe an example, whichever way you want to go so that uh, we know how to use this word. For example, I will start, cheerful. Uh, cheerful is someone who is happy, for example. Uh, Anna, we're going to start over here and we'll work down. Self-confident. Mm -hmm. Self-confident. Uh, now, if you don't know it, you just tell me and then I have to help you. Yes, please help me. I um, Self-confident. Claudia, you do know this one or I will do it. Self-confident. Oh, it's uh, a person who trusts in uh, their abilities and capabilities and is very sure about what to do. Very good, very mm -hmm. well explained, right? So mm -hmm. I'd like you to do it whenever you go. Anna, try this one, hard working. Hard working is a person, it's a real work, more work and really hard. Right, so this is a person who isn't lazy and who is responsible and they work hard. Right, yes. now I get confused with this one. Sensible, sensible. Claudia. Sensible, maybe a person who is very, oh, how to define that? Is easy to hurt uh, their feelings. Now, maybe... I thought it was this one. I get confused and I'm native, uh, if you like to call sensitive? it. Sensitive. Sensitive, that's the one you're doing. And sensible. I think is uh, someone who uh, is mature and knows how to react in certain situations, right? So sensible would do the right thing. Mm -hmm. If I'm sensible, for example, if I was a teenager at 15 and my, I had an experience of some kind and I did the right thing, it would mean I was sensible and uh, I knew what to do, right? Sensible. Right, Anna, the next one, generous. Generous, it's a person who give more. Give. A person who gives, yes. Gives, gives, yes. Right, uh, Claudia, Pla polite. Polite, polite is a person that is very careful to describe or say, uh, the the their opinions their opinion about a person or an activity right so polite is a person who's respectful and knows how to behave in each situation mm -hmm. right uh, sociable anna mm, sociable it's a person who like uh, to dis uh, to discuss and speak with other people so sociable is a person who likes to be with people. Uh, talking, talking, talking. And likes to interact with them. Right, yes. Claudia, reliable. <coughs> reliable, um, a person uh, in whom you can trust, trust. Is trust, trustworthy, trustworthy right, maybe? Okay. Right, so when we are talking, I try to be quiet, otherwise I'm interrupting you and I want to give you space to think. So I'm trying very hard for me to be quiet. Uh, <laughs> charming. Charming, it's a person who are really good. Uh, it's me and uh, look, it's a really good look and um, amazing, maybe charming. Charming, uh, let me see what I think of charming. Uh, has a way with words, elegant with words. Mm -hmm. um, they win you over with the way they're speaking. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think you'd say flirty, you know, but charming. Uh, I'm thinking <laughs> Spanish on the tip of my tongue, the word in Spanish. So charming mm. is uh, sweet with the words and they uh, win you over with the way they speak. And outgoing. Outgoing, maybe a spontaneous person who is very maybe happy and good sense of humor and it's uh, fun to be with that person. Uh, outgoing, extrovert, could we say that one? Extrovert. Right. Also, when we're speaking, we must try as we're moving up in the level, not to use very a lot, right? Because maybe it's our Spanish uh, origin. We're going very, very, because we say it in Spanish a lot, no? Very. So try not use that so much, right? Outgoing, extrovert, right? Uh, you can say one or two of these words, which are you or which you aren't, to use them. For example, I think I'm hardworking. I'm dedicated and uh, I'm always motivated to do things for my academy. I'm generous uh, in my opinion because uh, I give my time to help others. I'm reliable. Mm, if I say I'm going to do something, 90% um, of the time I do it and the other 10% is because it's out of my control. There we are. Anna, you can choose the words you want. Okay. I think I'm a hardworking person too, uh, because uh, I like to study and work and what I uh, can to do, I, I did it. And I am a reliable person because if I uh, um, need to do, I, I try to keep it. So you try your best to do it, yes. no? Yes. Right. Right. And Claudia. I think I'm joining to this team because I'm also hardworking. I work a lot and I try to do my best in everything that I, I do. And I think I'm also really reliable. Uh, I'm an honest person. And I think um, I'm pretty sure that people uh, can uh, trust on me. Trust me. And trust me. Okay. And I think I'm cheerful. I try to to be happy all the time, and and for me it's very important to love uh, every day. Right. No, because if I had to say one word for Claudia, because I don't know you intimately, I would say cheerful. <laughs> Thank you. I would say that, and I would say Anna is sweet. <laughs> <laughs> That's a compliment if you don't know. So right. <laughs> and what is one thing that you are not, but you would like to be? For example, uh, I am not self-confident. I lack confidence. I would like to be, uh, to believe more in myself. Right, Anna. Mm -hmm. I talked about what I want to be more. Yes, if one of these mm -hmm. characteristics you would mm -hmm. like to have, mm -hmm. but you don't have. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to be more outgoing <laughs> because uh, um, I want to have more time uh, for different uh, um, since what I want to do. <laughs> but so it's, outgoing it's just... is, for example, do you find it difficult to speak in front of a lot of people? Uh, are you shy? Mm, I'm going. Um, sometimes, yes, yes. <laughs> no, because okay. outgoing, you want to be that because uh, you are shy or you find it difficult to talk in public or different things like that. That's what it's trying to say. Right? Yes. Yeah, and Claudia? Um, 
self-confident because it's it's very difficult to uh, be self-confident. You are thinking that, that you are not good enough maybe. And that is uh, um, pretty bad when you are trying to um, do anything uh, to get a new job, to start a new project, and you are afraid that you maybe are not so good. So I think self-confident is a high quality that yeah. we must work. Yeah, because uh, we need also maybe to surround ourselves with people who support us and motivate us and tell us that we are worth it if we don't uh, believe it. Right, this is the exercise we're going to do now. Maybe it's a little more difficult. I haven't done it, so I'm going to do it with you as well. <clears throat> we have to say, easygoing, letter H, a person who doesn't worry much or get angry easily. So you have to find a definition. And also you must say if it's positive or a negative thing. So it's like two things in one. You give a definition and then you tell me in your uh, opinion if this thing is uh, a good thing or a bad thing. Okay, so Claudia, would you like to do number two? Ego, egotis, ego, ay, egotistical. <laughs> yeah. Ego I don't even know what this is. Let's see what it is. Oh, oh. maybe. Is it, so, is it the last one? Read the last one. Someone who doesn't brag uh, no. about or her accomplishments. Or maybe, oh no. Is it C? I'm thinking ego, like the thinking of themselves. Or we can leave it to last of one of the things. What do you, oh dear. What do you think about letter C? Someone who has a very high, mm. high opinion of him or herself. Yeah, maybe it's more re rela related to a ego, egotistical. It's the first mm -hmm. time I hear that word. <laughs> That's why I give it to it's you, just... Claudia. <laughs> right, so we will, if we need to, we can change it. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, I think it's uh, negative. Hmm. Right, they're too overconfident. Do we understand that maybe? Right, Anna, the next one. Flexible. Mm -hmm. Flexible. Mm -hmm. Trying the first three. Doesn't change easily. Mm -mm. Doesn't change easily. It is stubborn. Yes, yes. A person who doesn't change easily and it's stubborn. Right. A. No. So we're going to yes. choose A. And what do yes. we think? Positive or negative? I think negative. More negative. Right. The next one, Claudia. Modest. And I. Someone who doesn't brag about his or her accomplishments. Right. So this is another word. I don't know if you've seen it. To brag. To brag is when you are saying good things about yourself. Oh, look at me. Look at this and that. That is to brag. And you can look it up in the dictionary if it will help you later to understand it. Uh, right. Um, what is sociable, Anna. Sociable. A person who enjoys being with other people. I see F. Right. And it's positive, no? Positive, yes, positive. Right. The next one. Oh. Stingy. Stingy. Mm -hmm. Something to do with money. Uh, B, uh, maybe B. Yeah. yeah. Someone who doesn't like sharing. Mm -hmm. Right. I thought of money. Stingy is also if you don't like to pay for things and you're. For example, if we go for a coffee and you pay for me always, so I'm stingy because I never pay, for example. Mm -hmm. Right, the next one, Anna. Supportive. Uh, person who is helpful, helpful and encouraging. 
Right. The next one, Claudia. Tempera temperamental. Temper Mental. Temperamental. Temperamental. Ooh, temperamental. A person who has unpredictable or irregular moods. Yeah. Irregular moods, yes. So our mood as the way we feel. So we can be uh, in a good mood or in a bad mood. Right. And the last could you, could you one. Pronounce the word again. Temperamental. 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 Thank Temperamental. You. Thank Difficult, yeah. And last. Unreliable. Unreliable, yes. A person uh, uh, who doesn't do what he or she promised. Right. So it's similar to the words we had before. So <laughs> which one of these would you not like to have? Mm -hmm. So there's a few negative okay. ones there. Anna, which one you wouldn't uh, like to have? I don't like to have egotistical. <laughs> oh, That's right. I don't even know what that means. I'll have to look it up later in Google. Right. But ego, I'm just thinking of thinking of oneself, only oneself. Right. Okay. Selfish, maybe. Claudia. Yes. Um, oof. <laughs> Inflexible is. is uh... Or well, inflexible is like stubborn, no? no? Yes, inflexible. You, it's your opinion only. Your opinion and and any and you won't you listen to anybody. Opinion of the or the of the others. So it's yeah. terrible. And so the um, negative ones are really negative here on this page, no? No, the stingy. I oh, know. <laughs> stingy is a bad one as well. I don't like that one as well, stingy. And I, when I go with my friend, we've got it all under control. One day she pays, one day I pay, and we don't have a problem with it. And it goes with lunches or whatever. It's really nice. Right then, Anna, mm -hmm. read in the corner what I've put for different names of best friend. Best friend, bestie, a close friend, dear friend, soulmate. 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 Mm -hmm. So these are different degrees for different people. For me, soulmate is number one. If it's a soulmate, it's even best than a best friend, a soulmate. Because a soulmate, in my opinion, is someone who's on all levels, right? They only have to look at you and they know what you're thinking, everything. So, and a best is a good one. So, Anna, are you lucky enough to have a best friend? Yes, I have. No, no, don't be surprised because for me, it's really difficult to find a best friend. So you have one, right? So you can talk about yes. the subject. And you, Claudia? Uh, I agree with you. It's very difficult to have a best friend. and But uh, fortunately, I have one best friend. I, I think three my two sisters and one best friend that is not my relative. Right, okay. So, um, for example, there are words which we abuse and we use very often, like friend. This is my opinion all the time. So I think we use friend very loosely. Uh, acquaintance may be a better word. And best mm -hmm. friend, it's something very special. And sometimes in our lives, we don't have one because we're far away or different things happen, no? So <clears throat> the first question, Anna, what is your best friend like physically or characteristically? You don't need to say her name or his name. Just like give us a general idea. My best friend is... Uh, mm, People, as my, 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 I said people, yes, uh, who are more reliable, don't uh, give me some information what I need. It's a friend who listen to me and give me the advice, maybe. 
right? It's my best so friend. So the best friend that you tell me that you have, this is what you're thinking of, your best friend. And she has those three characteristics. She listens to you. She supports you when you need it. Mm -hmm. And she gives you advice. Don't say yes. advice, please, right? Advice. advice. So she gives you advice if you ask for it. Yes. She listens oh, to you. If I'll... Yeah, On because sometimes you don't it's want fine. it, no? <laughs> and physically, what is she like? Describe, yes, physically. I'll give you an example. For example, I'll talk about my best friend. I was with her today. My best friend is shorter than me. She comes up to my shoulder. She's very slim and petite. She's got shoulder length, straight red hair. So mm -hmm. describe me your friend. My best friend uh, is uh, not tall. Uh, have um, mm, blonde hair. Uh, uh, great eyes. Great tears. And uh, really it's... Um, Time and person, yes, is this what is true? Time and person, right? So, you, Claudia, what is your best friend like? My best friend is blonde and with blue eyes, uh, and that's not uh, very common in my country because blue eyes is not the, the rule, is the exception maybe here in my country. And uh, she is uh, thin and um, I don't know, pickles? She's got uh, freckles. Freckles, freckles. Freckles, yeah. another than freckles, some freckles. And uh, oh, she's amazing. Uh, she is a trust trustworthy person. I love her a lot and she is able to listen to me at any time and give me advice and um, listen to me and um, oh, she's very generous I think and I really admire her because she's hard worker and it's very smart. <laughs> Right, so she's smart. Now, what you can do, some of these words, if you say smart and you want to say very smart, look it up and see another word which means very smart, but one word. So it could be intelligent, for example, bright. So try not use very this and very that. Look for okay. another word that will uh, accompany you with that, for example, so you understand what I'm trying to say. You would say big, large, huge, enormous. So the grade is going up, so we understand. So if you want to say very big, you would say enormous or huge. So you should look for some words like that, right? So at the top of my head, I don't know but she's bright, intelligent, smart. No, these are the things that you admire in her, right? Um, I, oh, and she is from your country because she could have been from another country, no? Right, Anna, how long have you been friends? Mm -hmm. we've, uh, mm, we've been friends more than 10 years. More than 10 years you've been friends, yes, okay? Yes. I will continue with Anna because it's linked. And how did you meet? Um, we, we met, we met uh, what, uh, on job. At work? Oh, no, sorry, at work, yes. You, uh, work. So your work colleagues? Go together, we work together, yes, now. And you we, still work together? Yes, we still work together. So your work colleagues and you met at work and yes. you've uh, been friends for more than 10 years. Yes. Right. And you, Claudia? Um, we have been friends for uh, almost 30 years. And uh, I met her at the university. Mm, we are uh, 
very, very, well, not very. <laughs> we are good students. We were and we are good students. And we love reading and um, we are also hard workers. So we understand, understand each other very well at the time of working or uh, start a project. Right. And uh, so you how are we different? Yes, and how are we different? Mm. Wow, <laughs> I've never thought about that. But I think she is very, she's, she's self-confident and she has no fear to do the things. She just do, does the things and um, I'm not that way. I think I have to think more about uh, the project and the pro and cons, but she's self-confident and uh, I think she has she had reached everything that she proposed right. in her life. So this happens sometimes, no? What you are lacking, what you haven't got, normally the other person has, and you complement each other. So you're <laughs> saying that she compliments you because she's more outgoing and more decisive of what she wants to do. And maybe she'll push you that little bit so you will be the same. And that's what you need, someone to help you. So, Anna, about your friend, um, how are you similar and how are you different? Interesting. Yes, uh, um, I am. I and my friend, the boss, is really a reliable person. And... Um, um, <clears throat> we both uh, help each other on a walk and in the uh, usual family, usual life. Um, different, um, we more similar, yes, it's true, we more similar because it's both is a going talkative right. person, yes. I haven't thought of it. Well, I'm very different uh, from my friends normally, and they compliment. They support me. I think they're more supportive to me than uh, I, I need them more maybe sometimes than they need me. Maybe that's about Claudia as well, that you need your friend a lot to give you that little bit that you are lacking, no? So um, I think we are very lucky if we can uh have this best friend no so thank you girls for talking about personality and your best friend <laughs>